Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Brittany here of BrittanyJJones.com. Thank y'all so much for joining me. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I hope that you like what you see. And will not only give me a thumbs up, but subscribe to the channel for more. If you've been around for a while, then I apologize. It's taken me almost a month to get another video out, which is, I can't believe the time flew by so fast without me uploading another video for y'all. So definitely forgive me, I've been saving, saving, saving to get some new equipment to make recording a lot easier for me. And I finally buckled down and got it, so I'm excited to have um, new equipment coming in next week or the week after, just to help, um, yeah, to help me be of better service to you with solo loans, inspiring you and encouraging you and showing you that you can do it. So without further ado, we're gonna move on to what we're gonna be doing today, which is Sewing Simplicity 8211. It's a really quick and easy skirt pattern. Um, you may be thinking, Brittany, it's just a gather skirt. Yes, my friend, it's just a gather skirt, but this one is different and the reason why I decided to do it was because this one has the zipper on the side as well as pockets on the side. So I think that's a really great, um, mix up from it everything being in the back or zipper being in the back having it in the side seam it will be really fun and just something to mix up every now and then so we're going to be sewing that today now the supplies that you will need are your usual supplies make sure you have some pants on hand your marking tools don't forget to mark and notch and also a zipper so don't forget that as well also make sure you have your whatever you're going to be using to finish off your seams your serger Zigzag stick, pick and shears, have that close by and already threaded and ready to go. So once you have everything that you need cut out, we can get started. Hey everybody, so the first step to sewing our skirt is with right sides together, you want to pin your pocket to the skirt, making sure that you match your large dots. You should have transferred dots like I have here. And so we're going to match them up and make sure that you have the um, raw edges even. You can see I went ahead and surged mine. That's totally optional. I just like to surge before I start sewing. You would know if you did this right, as far as pinning, if you can lay your pieces right sides together and both of your pieces, your uh, pockets are on the same side. So go ahead and sew those down with three eighth of an inch seam. After you have it sewn, then we're gonna go ahead and put some understitching just between the large dots on our pockets. Do that for both sides of your pockets, just between the large dots. So once you have that done, we're gonna go ahead and pin our front to back at the side seams. I'm starting with my pocket, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go back and make sure I um, pin that whole side down on that side seam like I'm doing here. So go ahead and put it right sides together and just start pinning. And you're gonna sew from the top, you're gonna to stop at the dot, leave that part open so you can have your pocket, and then start at the other dot, stitch down, and then go around your pocket. So right here, you can see I'm starting and I'm gonna to go to that first dot. Make sure you back stitch when you get there, and then lift up, go to your next dot, and then continue down your skirt, and then go around your pocket. So once you're done with that, you do wanna go ahead and clip back the, um, the back seam allowance and then press your seam allowances open. The next step is to go ahead and prep the sides for the left side pockets. And you wanna put reinforced stitches about an inch above and below each of those dots. So go ahead and do that. And then you wanna grab your pocket, line them up right sides together, find your dots. And then we're gonna pin it down like I'm doing here. Now for this pocket, we're not gonna sew it I'm sorry, we're not gonna sew it straight down. We're gonna sew from dot to dot. So from large dot to the other large dot, we're just gonna sew there. Make sure that you back stitch. And then you wanna grab you some scissors and then you wanna clip to your dot, but don't clip through the dot, okay? Clip to it, don't clip through it. Hopefully you have some better scissors than the ones I grabbed. <laughs> but go ahead and clip to your dots. And then you wanna go ahead and do understitching the same way we did on the other pockets. Go ahead and do that right here. And then you want to flip it out so, that you, so then the parts that we clip, you know, they fold out like I'm showing you here. So your pocket should look something like this. And then go ahead and give that a good press. The next step is we wanna take the last pocket. We should have one left by now. And you wanna line that up um, right sides together go ahead and pin it all the way around like I'm doing here. And then we're going to just stitch it all the way around. Only the pocket though. Make sure you're not stitching your skirt, but you're only sticking, stitching your pocket. 
Once it's done, you should have a really, really nice pocket. I love the pockets on this skirt. So now the next step, we're gonna move on to step nine. And for step nine, we're just gonna base the pocket down to the skirt. So go ahead and pin at the top and pin at the bottom. And then go ahead and put some basing stitches just right there to hold it down. So next you wanna go ahead and put on your zipper foot. It's time to apply our zipper. And I did go ahead and press my coils over. Um, I pressed my zipper tape down just to push the coils over a little bit to make it easier to sew right in that groove, um, right, you know, right up against the coils. So go ahead and you want to lay your zipper down so that the right side is the right side of the zipper is on the right side of the skirt, if that makes sense. And then you want to sew really, really close into the coils. You um, can base it down first and um, go ahead and apply that side of the zipper like I'm doing here. So once you're done, it should look something like that, really nice and clean. I love this side seam zipper, it's so pretty. The next step is to go ahead and um, put the other side of the zipper onto the other side of the skirt, like I did here, and go ahead and sew that down. And there you have it, your pocket with your side seam invisible zipper. So pretty, I love that detail. So now the hard part is done. Easy sailing from here. Go ahead and close up that side seam. And then you should have notches at the top of your skirt. You wanna go ahead and put gathering stitches um, between those notches and make sure that you do not catch the pockets while you are putting your gathering stitches in. So make sure you put two rows and just go ahead and gather your skirt. Now you can go ahead and do your waistband, attach that first and then pull your gathers or you can pull your gathers and attach your waistband. That's all up to you. I pull my gathers and then I attach my waistband. But you wanna go ahead and um, apply your fusible interface into your waistband and start applying it to your skirt. Adjust your gathers like I'm doing here. And once you have everything adjusted, go ahead and pin it in place and then you wanna base it first. Make sure you go slow to make sure you don't have any pleats and you have nice gathers. And then go ahead and put your permanent stitch in. The next step, you wanna go ahead and um, now we're going to baste our pockets down to the right side, the front of our skirt. So go ahead and pin them down and then baste them. So now it's time for us to go ahead and close up our waistband. And for um, this side of it, for the right side, we're going to fold it onto itself and pin it down like I did here. And for the back of it, you want to open out the seam allowances and then fold them onto each other, like I'm doing here. So make sure that you, number one, you should have leftover um, extended waistband like I have here. Like it, the waistband doesn't fit exactly because a hook and eye is gonna go to it. So definitely make sure that you have extended your waistband over so you can have them lapped like this right here. So go ahead and sew it and then trim the excess off. And when you flip it off, everything should be nice and clean like it is here. And then you wanna go ahead and trim a little bit off of the other side and then flip that in like I'm doing. And then get you something sharp um, if you have a pointer or scissors or pencil, whatever you have, and go ahead and poke out the corners. And then it should look like that so you can, um, you'll be able to attach your hook and eye to close your skirt. The next step is for us to go ahead and close the waistband down. So you wanna go ahead and fold over that pressed edge over the seam allowance. You don't want the seam allowance of the waistband to be showing. So make sure that you fold it down and put your pins on the outside because we're gonna do um, like top stitching on our waistband. So make sure your, or your pins are on the outside, not the inside, so you'll be able to see. And then you wanna sew as close as you can to the seam, closing your waistband up. And then get your hook and eye, apply it, and then the last step is your hem, and you're all done with your skirt. All right, everybody, so that's all for the Sew Me video. I hope that you were successful with making your skirt and got your side seam zipper in, and you love the outcome of it. If you have any questions for me, leave them for me below, and I'll do my very best to answer. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Blessings, everyone. Bye.